everything looks clean just like the bike just sparkly clean I need to take a look at what size main jet this is and I can't read a thing Let's see if I can see it under the magnifying glass So a Banshee similarly set up with Toomeys and open AirPods filters would be 290. You're on the street, you're going a lot faster. Plus the durations are a little more aggress aggressive. It'll flow more air. Pilot's still uh, small though. Let's see, this Pilot says 25. It's a little on the small side. Where's that air screw at? Let's see what the air screw set at. Yep. One turn out. I'm gonna put 30s in it. Uh, 350s and 30s. See how she likes it after the porting. Pull this main jet out. 330. Put this 350 main jet in. 30 pilot. We'll get a little better tune with the air screw with a little bit bigger pilot jet. Oh, setting these up to be ported. This is the, R, the RZ350. Um, these come from the factory pretty aggressive. Uh, I think there was a couple different models, uh, the European or Canadian model uh, versus the US model. I don't know the technical jargon they use for it, but um, these are uh, pretty aggressive. If I remember right, these are the more aggressive ones because I just put the durations in and the lines and uh, they're set up pretty aggressively. But uh, we're gonna lighten these things up quite a bit and uh, get a more horsepower out of it. Widen the exhaust, you know, hog out that intake, do the liner cut transfer up drafts, get it all pretty. Now, go away, leave me alone. Just finished these up, porting's all done. Um, I matched the power valve with the port job so uh, everything will flow and come in right. If you make the exhaust bigger, you gotta, you gotta do the power valve also. Um, just a quick peek, bore and hone, uh, 6450 millimeter Weiss go 513 pistons. And uh, you can get really aggressive with these because of the power valve. So we let it all hang out. This guy should be a good runner. Just the stock carburetors will be the sticking point for the horsepower now. And then if you go to bigger carburetors, you want more compression, put it on race gas, and it goes and goes and goes and you spend all your money and you're broke. Let's get these on. It's time to put the pistons back on this RZ350. The cylinders have been bored and honed, and uh, we got some fresh Wysco pistons. I'm going to stick them on here. You won't be able to see much. It's kind of a pain, but um, we'll get it started. 
Got the head all freshened up. That'll go on there. These are the scary boogers. The circlips. They fly all over the place. So <clears throat> make sure <laughs> they don't fly down in the motor. Even if they do fly down in there, you can retrieve them with a magnet. Every mechanic should have the magnet on the stick. Slid all the way in. Now let's see if I can get this circ clip in. This working on your knees stuff is hard. I should have this bike up on a stand. They don't even own a stand. I've been doing this stuff for 30 years. And <laughs> I've always worked on my knees. Yeah. Getting harder in your mid 50s. I'm gonna have to quit this stuff. Okay, make sure it's solidly in there by trying to push the wrist pin out. Okay. There's one piston. I will walk these rings around. There's no up or down on these rings. They are 6450 millimeters. I already checked the ring gap by pushing them down into the cylinders and using a feeler gauge. And it should come out somewhere between 12 and 18 thousandths. All right. On to the other side. Now that the pistons are on, I'm just gonna lay these gaskets, base gaskets down. OEM style base gaskets. There was no porting done to the case or anything crazy like that. Just a good build with a ported cylinders and a little extra compression thrown in. Now we got to get those cylinders on. This is the hard part. This is going to be a little more difficult because I have the cylinders clamped together because once they're in there, um, you can't get those screws and the clamp over the power valves that keep the power valves in sync. So I'm going to put this side up top dead center or about and this side down. I'll put this piston into the cylinder and then I'll work it around uh, the crank and put this side up and get the other side in It's a chore It's not easy Can't force it. Gotta make sure it's in there. It slides easy. <laughs> Trying to get it lined up on the um, stud, case studs. There we go. Feels like it's hung up on something. I can't see anything. There we go. Just be gentle and just keep wiggling 
and trying to keep the, the cylinders at the same height. Don't get them, don't let them get out of alignment. That little clamp that keeps the power valves in sync does not hold the whole cylinder in place as one. Okay, that's it. Start clamping some of this stuff down. Get the little power valve caps back on. These are, this is just a housing. It doesn't slot into the power valve. Just a little oil on the O-ring and slide it right in. Four millimeter little Allens on this. Next is the power valve sinkage. So these are the cables that control the power valve. Uh, right on this box, it says the upper is number one and the lower is number two. You probably can't see it. it should look just like this, the power valve open, not closed with the barrel showing. Let's see if I can show you. See, that would be the wrong way, but it looks the same, right? So we're gonna spin it 180 degrees and have it wide open. You always hear all the beeping in my videos. There's always my phone going off. I try to silence it and I forget. All right, where is the backing here? Number one and number two. I never, I didn't take these out, so they didn't get misaligned. But if you pull them from up there, you got to make sure one is the upper and two is the lower. And I think this one's backwards. I'm gonna have to check on it. Okay, I want to show you this just so you can see. That says one right there. And two down there. Yeah! So, uh, my neighbors come over and interrupt my highly skilled work. So, I want to see if we can get this on camera. Right now, there is a lunar eclipse going on. Or solar eclipse, sorry. Where the, you know, the moon gets in the way of the sun and the earth. I don't know if that can come out on camera or not, but uh, it, it, it is a little darker, isn't it? Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I opened the garage and I was like, whoa. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to clear up in time. Yeah, I looked out in the morning, it was, uh, it was covered. The sky was covered okay. and then I was like, oh, you may have a chance now. I don't got time for this shit. <laughs> I gotta put that thing together. <laughs>